this video, we're going to look at the Effects panel. Open from Window and Effects. And the Effects panel allows you to create some interesting relationships with colors. That's the reason why I'm showing you this in the color unit. The first obvious thing that you can change is opacity. And opacity is not the same as tint. So for example, if I change the opacity to 46%, you can kind of see through it. If I change the tint to that same percent, you can't see through that. So opacity is the transparency of the object. Tint is the color. You can change the opacity of an object, a stroke, or a fill. Now we're going to look at some of the color modes. This impacts the relationship of two objects. So I'm going to select the uppermost object or the blend color, not the bottom or the base color. So I've selected both this teal and then this salmon color. And if I select multiply, you can see that it multiplies the base color. Your result is always a darker color with multiply. Screen produces the exact opposite look. It always produces something that is lighter. Overlay actually ignores gray, so it appears to either multiply or screen depending on the base color. Soft light does something very similar, so it either darkens or lightens depending on the base color. Color burn darkens to reflect the blend color. Darken selects whichever is darkest. Lighten selects whichever is lightest. Hue and saturation create colors based on luminance and on the saturation. I will give you a warning that these blends often don't turn out well on newsprint. They usually give a much better look either in web applications or for glossy magazines. We've looked at how you can do that with shapes, but you could also do that with a color over a photo. In the effect, you also have an object effect. So you can create things like drop shadows or bevel and emboss. Again, use these with caution. They can create some cool effects, but a little goes a long way. With any of these object effects, maybe apply the rule you're going to do one on your page and that's it. And also have a purpose for it. Don't just apply a drop shadow or a, a layer mode just because you think it's kind of cool. Have a purpose for those effects and don't let them distract from the design.